Hello friends, welcome to Biology Concern. I am Animesh. In, in this video, I am going to discuss liposome and spherical missile. The both structure discuss that the plasma membrane is a two-dimensional fluid. So let's jump into the topic. So first thing, liposome. So what is liposome? So basically, with the basic concept is here. So if this is the plasma membrane structure and this is the inner leaflet. So basically, this is the inner leaflet and this is the outer leaflet outer leaflet so we observe in outer leaflet there is a abundance of pc that means phosphatidylcholine and sphingolipid okay and sphingolipid so in outer surface or outer leaflet of the plasma membrane uh, abundance with phosphatidylcholine and sphingolipids whereas in inner structure or inner leaflet we observe phosphatidyl serine and phosphatidyl ethanol amine so both structures are abundant in outer leaflet and inner leaflet as well so whenever in artificial condition we extract the biological membrane or the lipids from the biological membrane and put in a aqueous solution then we observe a double membrane structure that the double membrane structure is known as liposomes where Phosphatidylcholine has the ability, so phosphatidylcholine along with sphingolipid, sphingolipid has the ability to aggregate themselves and it creates a water filled uh, body that is the uh, double membrane uh, structure that structure is known as liposomes okay so basically whenever these liposomes are created those phosphatidylcholines and sphingolipids are attached together and form a spherical structure and this structure is a double layer structure or double leaflet structure so lipid bilayers are uh, there so in the middle portion is the lipid bilayer portion uh, that is contained the fatty acid tail of uh, the phospholipids and uh, the outer portion or hydrophilic or aqueous portion is known as the phosphate head group so phosphate head phosphate head and lipid tail okay so lipid tail so both phosphate head and lipid tail makes a combined structure along with phosphatidylcholine that is abundant in outer leaflet and sphingolipids they make a structure that is known as liposomes so these liposomes are usually developed to deliver drugs in our body suppose we have uh, cancer in particular uh, organ that is the liver or kidney so we create a liposome from the liver cell or kidney cell and inject it within a body or within our body and basically those liposomes are fused with this liver or uh, kidney cells and they deliver the drugs so basically liposomes contain two different kinds of drugs one kind of drug is lipid soluble drug as it present inside this lipid bilayer so this drug is lipid soluble drug and another drug is aqueous drug so basically this drug is present in the aqueous environment so this drug is present in the aqueous environment so these two types of drugs are, can be uh, delivered by these liposomes okay so this is the initial approach uh, for creating this particular liposomes but whenever scientists applied those liposomes in our body they observed that this kind of liposome get ingested by our immune cells that is macrophage or neutrophils etc so basically they are immune digested and immune cells eliminate those liposomes so basically their primary concern is that we have to exclude these liposomes from our immune system that can so that liposome can actually bind with particular target sequence or target uh, organs and deliver the drug so whenever they faced those problem that liposomes can be uh, digested by immune cells and it uh, basically does not deliver the drug as it's uh, use tends to deliver the drugs but uh, some kind of immune uh, evasion is there and so by immune evasion those liposomes cannot deliver the drugs properly so scientists observe a special condition or they create another uh, version of these liposomes so basically they applied a synthetic layer of PEG so basically they coated these liposomes with a synthetic layer 
so basically this layer contains total liposome so this is the synthetic layer of PEG that is polyethylene glycol so poly ethylene glycol so basically they covered these liposomes with polyethylene glycol and polyethylene glycol helps these liposomes evade immune system evade our immune system so that can these liposomes can deliver the both aqueous and lipid soluble drugs in our body so whenever the scientific scientists create this uh, kind of liposomes or modified liposomes they called it calyx okay so these modified liposomes modified liposomes are known as calyx so calyx is a special type of liposome that is also known as stealth liposome so this is also known as stealth liposome okay so by adding those PEG or polyethylene glycol polyethylene glycol uh, scientists manage to evade the immune system uh, to escape the immune system and by escaping those immune system now liposomes can deliver the drugs into our particular targeted organs and by which it is actually uh, working uh, is an working condition so this is the all about liposomes so there is another kind of structure is there that is the spherical missile so when amphiphilic molecules are exposed to an aqueous uh, solution or aqueous environment so amphiphilic molecules obviously this is the phosphatidylcholine and sphingolipids sphingolipids so phosphatidylcholine and sphingolipids tend to aggregate themselves so they spontaneously aggregate to bury their hydrophobic trails so basically they create a single vesicle not double membrane or double layered membrane uh, layered but single layered when they put into the aqueous environment so basically they anchor their uh, lipid tails with one another and create a single spherical vesicle and this single spherical vesicle is known as missile and those missiles are also used to deliver drug but at this position only lipid soluble drugs can be delivered okay so lipid soluble drugs can be delivered as because there is no aqueous condition present inside of this missile so only lipid soluble drugs can be delivered within our system so basically liposome is a double uh, layered structure where we observe an outer leaflet and inner leaflet but in case of missile we only observe single uh, leaflet there so basically single phosph phospholipids makes this uh, missile but in case of liposome there is a two sheet like structure or a two layered structure where we can uh, deliver a drug in aqueous uh, solution drug uh, and also lipid soluble drug so basically this is the basic difference of liposome and missile so i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching